name is Kade Mahoro. I'm from Congo. My name is Marwan. I'm from Iraq. My name is Espoir. I'm from Rwanda. I love Zach too much. My name is Bushra. I'm from Syria. Sofila! Size 12. Whoa. Nice. There you go. Sometimes the Burmese soldier, they will came to our village to burn up the house, to just kill people and take all the food that we planted, like whatever, you know. I am from a very dangerous city of Guatemala, which is right on the border of Mexico. Uh, there is a lot of drug dealing, a lot of violence. But from Syria, everybody is die and, you know, fighting. Yeah, because that I'm coming to America. I didn't have that much money and like, also there is a lot of problems in my country, like gang problems and a lot of violence. They moved from Somalia to Kenya, refugee camp 1990, because of the civil war in Somalia, and they were, they were seeking for a better future and better life. More than 60 million people across the world are displaced. Half of these are children. Refugees, asylees, and new immigrants are one of the most at-risk populations in the United States. Helse has been with Soccer Without Borders for six years, Angel, four years, Abendego, five years, Fatuma, four years, and Bushra just joined Soccer Without Borders nine months ago after moving from Syria. Um, my first day of school was really challenging because I couldn't understand nothing at all. And like there was people who were trying to talk to me and I couldn't even say nothing back to them. You don't understand what the teacher are saying, what the students are saying, so I was just like, my life is over. I was walking back to uh, to the bus stop, and then there was this guy walking to me, and that guy is Coach Ben. He talked to me in Spanish. He was like, are you interested in playing soccer with me? I have a team. So we're gonna do name and where we're from, we ready? Yeah. Okay guys, don't, if you go slow, everybody's gonna get mad at you, ready? <laughs> Everybody up. up. Ben, San Francisco. Carlos, Guatemala. Oscar, Mexico. Hi everyone, uh, my, <laughs> my name is Rafael and I'm from, oh, I really I don't remember, I'm from El Salvador. <laughs> Kevin, I'm from Honduras, I see you from Afghanistan. Right away when you become into the team context, you really start to feel a sense of community and a sense of um, family that, that is vitally important for them. And I think it also transcends a lot of the language barriers you can play on the same team with somebody who doesn't speak the same language as you. You can get to know and become good friends with somebody that you may never be able to share a word with until six months later. A partner who speaks a different first language than you. A different first language than you. Eyes, ears, nose, culo. There are so many factors that are out of out of their control and that also that nobody wants to leave home. And I think that's why this program is so effective because soccer can be a home and it can create home in a new place even if that new place is totally unfamiliar. Show me, one, two, five. How do you feel right now? I see five, five, two, four, let's go. Okay, at the end of the day, you guys gonna go to 10. <laughs> the kids, I'm, I'm most proud to know these kids that have overcome so much to be where they are and um, reach the goals that they've set for themselves. It's really, I'm not gonna be able to. <laughs>
like someone like Helse to be what we believe is the first Karen female soccer coach in the United States, that's just incredible. They told me that I was their big sister or their mom, even if I'm like shorter than them. Uh, they're really close to me. They will always show up, give me a high five or a hug. When I joined the program, I did not used to communicate with other students. I was kind of nervous because when you're kicking the ball, you need to communicate, you need to say other names. There's a little place where I could be if I wasn't here. The streets. There's, in Oakland, it's like a tradition, you know, they go to side shows, start smoking, drinking, join a gang. That's what most of the people in my age do. It has changed my life because uh, when I was back in my country, I was that type of person that just wanted to give up with school. I got to soccer with the boarders and they offered tutoring after school, so they helped me do my homework. And uh, that encouraged me to just keep going and going and, you know, just uh, trying to reach my uh, goals and dreams. Soccer help everyone. First me come here, I don't speak English, and then there's to be helping me now. I speak English. Limited English speakers graduate at a rate of 58%. Um, that's the national high school graduation rate. Soccer Without Borders programs have an average graduation rate of 95%. I have volunteers help me with English and homework. Everybody like working together. In Syria, the girls never play soccer because it's bad. The girl in Syria shy, not can do anything, work in the home every time. I say, why that? Because the girl can do everything, right? And you're gonna see my house soon. So come in. Oh, this is my room. I got all the soccer balls here. This is my team, our soccer with the Boris team. And this is the girls. A coach, this is Mama and my niece. The polar factory in Bakulu, Nikke Wagnor and He, Dilla America, Lodi, Nikkeraba, Kuna, Polo Kurga, Pak Polo Sasiwa. If it is soccer, everybody is excited to go there, even parents, even students, even, no, even, even myself. <laughs> Helsey continues to coach the under-14 girls team at Soccer Without Borders and is now attending Merritt College, where she is a captain of the women's soccer team. Abendego is currently getting a business degree from San Francisco State University and plans to attend law school. He is also a head coach in one of the city's best youth soccer leagues. What have we been uh, working on during practices? And spreading out. Fatuma is attending Merritt College, where she is completing a degree in nursing. Angel is a senior and will play varsity college soccer in the fall. I would like to give a positive point to Hasim because he was playing really hard. And Bushra continues to play soccer and will soon be in high school. She plans to be a doctor. I want to give a shout out to Erica for giving her best effort and giving all her energy today and she's improving. Fútbol sin fronteras simboliza el respeto. Todos nos queremos, por eso lo represento. Agarrados de la mano, siempre metemos un gol. Nacimos separados, pero nos junta el fútbol. So que with the board, es como él se llama. Y cuando lo escuchaste, saltaste de la cama. Hermandad y respeto, aquí nos inculca. Son varias naciones y aquí todas se juntan.